create positive cycles at will. Many things are invisible, but once you calibrate your mind to see them, you'll see them everywhere. They're not really invisible, but intangible. A description of a process, a metaphor. One such metaphor is the reinforcing cycle or loop. For example, think of something as simple as practicing a sport. To begin, the person practicing has a desire to get better at the sport, and when they practice, this leverages a very ancient mind-body learning feedback loop. When they do something that indicates improvement, it feels good. When they do something that indicates any kind of non-improvement, it feels bad. Since we monkey people are motivated to both move away from bad things and move toward good things, this is a perfect learning system. On a short-term level, good results feel good; bad results feel bad. But on a meta level, we'll have both a short-term and a long-term memory of the ratio of the good to bad. For example, if most of the things you tried on a given day gives you good results, that is a good practice day. The reverse, where most of the things you tried didn't work, that would be a bad practice day. So you can look back into your history and see how the good to bad ratios are increasing. If you feel like they are increasing, that feels good. So you continue. The more you practice, the better you get. The better you get, the better you feel. The better you feel, the more you are eager to practice more. This is a very simple three-step loop. Step one, go to step two. Step two, go to step three. Step three, go to step one. Positive feedback loops don't have a natural end point, particularly in anything competitive like sports. The more you practice, the more they practice. So whenever you meet in combat, you keep playing with higher levels of skills, making each competition more rewarding. But negative feedback loops do have an end point. You try something and it doesn't work. I'll just keep practicing, you say. So far, so good. But you never reach that tipping point where that simple three-step loop is created. Your not good to good results are always upside down. You have more not good than good. Pretty soon, you'll look back into your past and you won't see any improvement. This points to zero improvement in the future. And if practicing causes any discomfort whatsoever, which yields zero improvement, it's rational to quit. But once you quit, you'll never reach that positive three-step feedback loop. What's the answer? One, never quit. Two, go a little bit more slowly and more simpler, so it's easy to get more good than bad. Three, rewrite how you reference your history, so that you are getting better. This process will flip the polarity of any negative feedback loop into a positive, self-sustaining, pleasurable, never-ending positive feedback loop. To learn more, visit mindpersuasion.com/custom-history.